Hi, Quadcopter101 here. And before we get started, I got to give my shout outs to my Notification Squad winners. Today's Notification Squad winners are Hernan and 4,388,091 views. That's Hernan and 4,388,091 views. That's an odd one. <laughs> so again, congratulations, guys. That's your shout out. Good morning, Quadcopter 101, and I have a neat science experiment for you today. It's Science Experiment uh, Saturday here. <laughs> what I got for you today is a 5.8 gigahertz uh, Wi-Fi repeater. Finally, they got 5.8 gigahertz Wi-Fi repeaters out there, cheap and widely available. This is the Comfast 5.8 gigahertz. It can be it's switchable between 5.8G and 2.4G by this little switch on the side here. Now, in 5G, it's supposedly uh, data rate is out to 600 megabytes per second, so that should easily be able to accommodate FPV video from those 5.8 gigahertz Wi-Fi quadcopters that are coming out here. And for today's flight, I'll be testing it with my Bugs 2W. Now, I previously did a review with the Bugs 2W, testing its range out here to see how far it could go and still get gain FPV reception. Now, keep in mind, there are several variables that come into play there, you know, particularly the design of the F or the Wi-Fi system of your phone, uh, the design or how the the particular drone you were flying was assembled that day. Say the uh, guy is, uh, installs the uh, Wi-Fi antenna when it was thinking about lunch <laughs> that particular day, and I think they were with this particular one. Uh, and also the local area where you fly at. Is there any uh, Wi-Fi uh, interference? Interference on a 2.4 gigahertz band? Obviously, where I fly, there's none. <laughs> so, but with that combination, in my previous video review. I was able to go out to 200 meters when I was flying at about just about 94 uh, meters high. I was able to go out to 200 meters before I started seeing choppiness in the Wi-Fi. And finally, I was able to go out all the way to about 350 meters, 350, before I lost Wi-Fi reception entirely. We're going to see if this has any improvement over those pre uh, that previous flight. Now, let me talk about the Comfast. Again, I mentioned it is switchable between 2.4 and... Uh, 5G, it says 5.8G on the side here. I'm assuming that is 5G. <laughs> it is because I was able to hook it up to that uh, quadcopter. I, it was working at home. Um, but additionally, what uh, the advance of this over the previous Mi uh, repeaters that I've been testing is that this one does not require special software to set up. You can use your browser to set up, and it sets up very quickly, very easily. So, you know, it is... A potential replacement for those me drones you know if you want to fly it with the cheaper toy drones that work on 2.4 gigahertz all you got to do is switch that switch down to 2.4 G and away you go or 5.8 G for uh, 5G Wi-Fi this works with also so that's it let's try it out and uh, again I will be using my power supply my little power bank here's another gadget one of my uh, users recommended I try out this is a little uh, stand that grabs onto smartphones or, in this case, a power bank, and then you can attach it to a tripod. It's pretty neat. Only about three dollars, three fifty, I believe, on eBay is where I got it. So yeah, this is one of my viewers recommended I try, it, and it's a thank you to that particular viewer because uh, it definitely is going to come in handy. I am going to use this and aim it to help aim the uh, flat side of this uh, particular uh, repeater in the direction that I plan to fly. That way I'm hoping that'll give me best reception. I'm gonna head toward uh, Owens Peak off in the distance there, so we'll use that as our basis, and we'll plug it in and do it. So let's go for a flight of this thing and see how it performs. Hope you enjoy this flight. Okay, as with other repeaters, the way this works is the repeater is connected to the drone. In other words, the drone's data is going to the repeater first, and then it's coming back to the phone. And the same going vice versa. Data from the phone is going to the repeater, and then to the quadcopter okay and to know we know that we are connected and that we got this blue light here again i did this before i even came on here uh, i set this up at home so that this repeater automatically connects to the drone every time that drone comes on this repeater will look for the drone and i have it set up for 5.8 gigahertz 5g and now i am adjusting using this tripod here off in the direction I plan to fly, just toward Owens Peak there, setting the flat face toward that direction. So that should hopefully give us maximum FPV range. Now I'm going to turn on 
mamas in so we can record what I'm seeing here. And three, two, one. This is the reception I'm getting off of my Mwabazin screen. Uh, I want to start recording too. And notice that we got lots of green bars here. So I'll, that's, that's what we should be getting since the data is coming from the transmitter here. Now I'm not going to stand right next to the transmitter because, or the repeater, because that's going to create some interference. But we should be good to go. Let's try an automatic takeoff. I think I have to hold that button down, don't I? I guess not. I think you got to start it this way. Start it that way. Oh, down and in. And now you do the automatic takeoff, if I remember correctly. And I remember correctly. First thing we want to check is, take it up a little bit higher so we can hit that, is stability of the drone. The drone is stable. And I am recording. Now, we're going to go out by and at the same time, I'm going to set it up higher to about 94 meters. And also, I'm going to let you see my screen here as we're going up on, up and away. So, distance of 25 meters, height of 21. We got good FPV. I'm looking at my FPV screen as we're going up on and up. 30, oops, 118 meters going up higher. I want to go up to 94 meters at least, like I did in the previous flight. We still got FPV reception going up on. Up on 87. I see a black dot in the sky at 351 meters. Wow, we got out there fast. <laughs> do I got reception at 351? I obviously do not have reception, folks, at 351 meters. Let's see if I can adjust that. Oh, there we go. I moved the antenna up a bit. Does that do I still got reception? So obviously not. Okay, it didn't. We don't see much improvement. We got the 351 real fast. Let's do uh, return to home. Let's bring it back. Bring it in closer and see if we got reception as it comes home. Okay, I got reception now. I can see it moving a bit. It's wobbling a bit. Let's see if I can turn it toward me. I had reception for a bit there. Improved reception there. I hit the return to home. So obviously we are not getting <laughs> improved reception with the 5G Wi-Fi. I only I lost it out there at about uh, 300 meters. Boy, I got out there fast though. I'll tell you. <laughs> this particular drone is very very fast. Okay, I got it. Reception back again at 144 meters. As it's coming back home. There, oh, it's way up there. Way up there. Let's bring it down. That'll bring itself down. This, uh, let's go out one more time. This time, let's go to stay close to the ground. And we'll go out slowly this time. I went out real fast until I lost that reception. Ninety-nine meters. Come on down. Pulling down on the throttle. Bring her down. Way up there. <laughs> Why did I send it so high, folks? I don't know. <laughs> we still got plenty of power on this thing. I'm going to bring it down lower to about 30 meters this time. And we're going to go out one more time. Uh, 20 meters is fine. Oh, it wants to continue on down there. Wait, let's stop it. It's continuing to its return to home. Let me turn that off if I can. There we go. Let's go back up to about 20 meters this time. Wow, this thing. <laughs> this is one fast drone, ain't it? <laughs> okay. Okay. This time we're going to go out slow. <laughs> slow and the bugs are not the same thing. I mean, it is a quick bird. But we're going to go out to 
about 100 meters and stop and then turn it and see how it looks. Okay, it looks good. So we'll go out a little further to about 150 meters. Okay, stopping it there at 150. Let me adjust the antenna too from the repeater. We got reception at 150. It's very intermittent. So this particular repeater, particularly with the bugs, does not seem to improve reception that much. Maybe it's because I'm standing too close to the repeater. Let me move away from the repeater. Does that provide any improvement? No, it does not. So we lost, lost reception at about 180 meters. I can see it off in the distance there, but uh, I don't have reception. So let me adjust the antenna. Let me turn it sideways toward the drone. Maybe that's what's needed. Sideways. Point it toward the drone. Do I see any improvement there? Nope. How about with the word Comfast pointed toward the drone? Maybe that's the front of the antenna. Do I see any improvement? Yeah, I do that time. So the, the word Comfast apparently is where the antenna should be pointed if you're improving the range. Okay, with that in mind, let's head back outbound again. Let's see. See if we can go up higher. Okay, at about 250 meters. Do I have reception? No, I do not. So, um, <laughs> I'm not seeing any improvement with this particular Comfast transmitter. I'm not really sure that this actually amplifies. I think it's just a repeater only. Okay, it's telling me to come back home, so I'm going to do that. I heard a beep. Boy, this thing comes back fast. I like the bugs, too. It is such a fast, fast GPS drone. I don't think there is a faster GPS drone out there. <laughs> okay, we're going to land it. We're going to call it quits with those beeps. That's my battery battery warning I get. No, I still got two bars, but maybe that's the battery warning. So we'll bring it in. So the Comfast did not improve the range. I thought it would, but it didn't. Not with the Bugs 2W at least. I gotta hit land on this thing, don't I? No land button. Um, that's surprising. Unfortunately, it didn't do it. So, uh, Although it's easier to set up than the me. Okay, I got it unplugged. Easier to set up than the me. Apparently, it's improved range improvement in range is not the same as flying out by itself there, you know. Again, I've I've done this before out here. This drone can easily get out to over 200 meters and close to 350 meters. Uh, without use of the Wi-Fi repeater, but when I attached it to the Wi-Fi, this particular Wi-Fi repeater, I did not see that type of range, so unfortunately. So, now we know. Okay, hope you enjoyed this flight. I'm going to try this with other, with toy grade quadcopters uh, on the 2.4 gigahertz band and see in the future videos and see if uh, that's the same. I know the, the Mi does a real good job got good job on 2.4 gigahertz. Let's see what this does. So hope you enjoyed this review. This is Quadcopter 101 signing out.